Hey guys, so if you watched yesterday's Makeup Favorites of 2023 video, then I told you that I was going to do a dedicated video to the e.l.f. No Budge Matte Shadow Sticks, and that's what today's video is about. However, I did want to give honor four honorable mentions to yesterday's video that I didn't mention in the video, but they are four additional products that I really love um, that I didn't mention in that video. Number one is the Beauty Intuition Face Powder, which is a highlighter from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. It has a skull imprint on it, but I really feel like it. It w I would be remiss if I did not mention this because it came out um, with their Halloween stuff this year at Dollar Tree, and I love this. I have it on today, and I do use this so much that I felt like that should have been included in yesterday's video. I also want to mention the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I have on the shade Bubblegum today, and these are so, so nice. And I have them in multiple shades, and I do really love them. And uh, I use those so much this year, and I just found myself continually picking up additional shades. So I wanted to mention that. I also wanted to mention the Milani Bullet Lipsticks. These are such a great formula, and they come in um, a matte and a non-matte version. I'm trying to think of what you would call that finish. Um... This is the shade Voyeur. This is what I have on under the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. But I honestly have never tried the matte ones because I love this other formula so much that I don't generally seek out matte finish lipsticks. I prefer lipsticks that aren't matte because why would you want your lips to be drier on purpose, you know? But these... Um, I picked these up at Walmart, and they are such a nice lipstick. They're pigmented, and they have a nice um, finish on them. I'm trying to think of what the Milani Color Fetish Bomb Lipsticks. That's what these are called. I could not think of the name, and they don't, they don't write it on the packaging so many companies do that now they don't write the name of the product on there so if you don't know it off the top of your head then good luck because it isn't printed anywhere on here but yeah Milani color fetish bomb lipsticks these are so so nice and perfect for winter but I really like these I probably will end up getting more colors of these at some point because I do really like them I think I have two or three colors right now and the only other thing I wanted to mention is that I was talking about liquid blushes in that video yesterday, and I was saying that I really like the Jeffree Star one that I have, and that I love the new e.l.f. ones, but the hard candy face-off ones are very good too, and I have this one on today because I did not have um, this shade in other brands and when I put it on I was like wow these you know these are really good too so um, just liquid blushes in general I feel like this was the year for liquid blushes because everybody came out with them and these are really nice too so this is in the shade born yesterday so these four products are my honorable mentions from yesterday's video. Okay, so let's get started with the actual topic of today's video, and that is the e.l.f. No Budge Matte Shadow Sticks. They come in eight shades, and I have used them already in videos. You've seen me use them in tutorials. Um, I have on the shade Stellar today as my brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight, and it's just a bright yellow. And then I took the shade Out of Sight that I used in my last video, or the video before, I forget now, all the days kind of blend together where I film every day. 
but I have this on again. Um, this is in the crease, but this is also on the lids, underneath something else, and it's an eyeliner. So these are super versatile. Yeah, you can use them as a regular eyeshadow, you can use them as a base for another eyeshadow, and you can use them as an eyeliner. And they are called No Budge because they're not going to go anywhere. Um, these, this I put all over my lids and in the crease, but the shadow that I put on top of this is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to crease. It's not going to move. So they're just super, super versatile. And I really feel like, um, you know, you would be happy to have these in your collection. And in case you're curious, what did I put over that on the lid? I have Casper Mountain from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, which is one of the artistry singles. That's what I put over that. And then um, a lot of these I've used in previous videos. There's Lava Lamp, which is this lime green color. I used that recently in a video. And I know I used Vintage Suede in a video recently. This is like a mustard color. Thrift Shop I used in a video recently. This is um, like a cool tone brown, I guess you would say. But then I also have three more that I don't think I have used yet because I just finished uh, getting all the different colors. So this one is called Cool Beans, but to me this is like a pink. Um, so I'm not sure why they call that Cool Beans. Oh, you know what? It's not. It's not called Cool Beans. I'm sorry. The brown is called Cool Beans. The pink is called Bombshell. And then there is also an orange called Groovy. I really did not need this because I have um, a liquid eyeshadow by Jeffree Star that is the same color, but it didn't make sense to me to buy seven of these e.l.f. no budge matte sticks and not have the full line to show you. So groovy is the eighth shade. Um, but yeah, these are really, really terrific. So let me swatch them all on my arm and then show you. I will be right back. All right, so I'm back with the swatches. So we have Stellar, which is the yellow I have on today. We have Out of Sight, which I have on everywhere else. Lava Lamp, which is a lime green. And then we have Vintage Select. I'm sorry, Vintage Suede, which is the mustard. Then we have Thrift Shop, which is like a light, cool brown. Then we have Cool Beans, which is a dark chocolate brown. Then we have Bombshell, which is like a salmon pink. And then we have Groovy, which is an orange. But yeah, they're all matte. Super versatile, can be used for so many things. And what's fun for me is the challenge of thinking to myself, okay, what am I going to do with this color? What am I going to coordinate it with? And like I said in yesterday's video, blue has become like a neutral for me. So the first thing I did today was I knew I wanted to use the yellow. And I thought about using this on my lids and then putting something over it. But I was like, no, I'm going to combine yellow and blue together. And then I remembered I had this yellow and blue shirt. And that kind of was the inspiration for the color that I was going to use. And further down on this shirt, I have the pink. So that's why I decided to do pink on my lips and do pink as a blush because basically this shirt is the color inspiration for this look. So pink, blue, and yellow. But yeah, when I look at these, I think, oh, how, okay, how am I going to use this? 
um, because so far I've come up with looks for the green, the mustard, the cool brown. I've done the blue twice and now the yellow. So I still want to do looks with the brown, the pink, and the orange. The, especially the, the salmon pink one really intrigues me because I'm, I have to really think about what I'm going to do with that and what other products that I own that I want to pair with it because these aren't the type of things that I would just use on their own. I feel like they're great companion pieces to use with something else. So I highly recommend them. They're $5 a piece. They're available at Target or on the e.l.f. website. Um, but yeah, they're very versatile, so much fun to play with, and I highly recommend them. So that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.